Hi, my name is Toby. I'm a commissioner in the Rec Room Printing Discord. Today, I'm going to show you how to be printing custom clothing inside of Rec Room as of June 2025 using the Swift printer. So, let's get right into it. First step is going to be you're going to go to the link in the description and you're going to go to Python. You're going to go to the download section and you're going to click on download for Windows, Python 3.13.5 or whatever version that is showing at the time of you watching the video. You're going to install it and open the .exe file. This window will pop up. You are going to check both of these boxes and hit install now. That's going to install. Once it is installed, you are good to move on to the next step and close this out. For our second step, we are going to search. We're going to search CMD and as administrator. Once you have command prompt open as administrator, you're going to paste this from inside of the description. Copy. Paste it. Paste anyway. Install. Now it says requirement already satisfied for me because I already have it downloaded, but it'll say installing for you. And if one fails to install, I will put every single one of them in the description one by one. Copy and paste whichever one to install and it's likely PyWin32 that happens for most people. Before the next step, I recommend opening your file explorer, going to downloads, right clicking and do new folder. And I would name this something like Swift printer or Swift printer stuff. I usually do Swift printer stuff. And I would into quick access where you have it right here. Once you have made that file, you are going to go to the Swift printer GitHub, which will also be in the description. You're going to press code, download zip, and the zip of WinRAR. If you do not have WinRAR, there will also be a link in the description for WinRAR. We're going to minimize the GitHub. We're going to have your little Swift printer stuff there. And you are going to drag and drop Swift printer main into the Swift printer stuff file. The next step would be to get the templates for the shirts or hoodies or whatever you want to print. So you would join the Rec Room Printing Discord, which I'm going to link in the description. Once you're in the Discord, you're going to verify and then go to the resources tab. In the resources tab, you'll find all sorts of templates for shirts, hats, hoodies, shoes, and pants. You can right click, then save image, or you can press it and then press a little save image button. Once you have those downloaded, put them in your Swift printer stuff file that you made earlier. Then you can move on to the next step. Once you have your templates downloaded, you're going to go to photop.com. I will put it in the description of the video. You're going to press open from computer and you're going to select whichever template you would like to do. For this video's sake, I'm going to do a hoodie. You would open it. Now this might look a little confusing to you. If this looks a little confusing to you, I would go to the discord again, go down to image dump and you will see all these photos by Yell. This will show you exactly where everything is on the hoodie, hat, shoes, and pants. So this is the front. This would be the back. Hood, left side of the hood, and right side. Once you've done that, you are going to download any image you would like from Google or wherever else you can download it. You have that image downloaded. For this video's sake, I'm going to use the new Tyler the Creator album cover. You are going to drag and drop it in there. Drag it above background. You will now drag it down and position it exactly how you would like it to be on the hoodie or shirt. What I would recommend doing is you're going to press Windows Shift S. It'll bring up this box. You're going to hold and drag over the base color if the image has a background color already. Then you're going to press Control and then V. And that will bring a layer. I would drag this on top of it. Original image on top of the box color. I would then make the box color as big as you can for it covers the entire image. And then just for as one solid color. Once you have your template exactly how you want it, you're going to go to file, export as, PNG, and you will name it whatever you'd like. I'll name it Tyler. Let this be, then save. We'll go in there and now you're ready to move on to the next step. Next, you are going to go to the Swift printer beta data generator site. This will be in the link in the description. You're going to choose file, 
select the picture you just made, upload. This should take a couple of seconds. Do not extract the zip file. What you want to do is open back your file explorer, go to Swift Printer stuff, Swift Printer main, and you would want to drag and drop your zip file into the Swift Printer main area. Now that you have done that, you are good to launch Rec Room. I will see you once I am inside of Rec Room. Once you are inside of Rec Room, you should have spawned in your dorm. No matter if you are in dorms V1 or V2, you will open your maker pen. We're going to go to tools. You're going to see general settings. You're going to open it. Scroll down to delete everything. Do this and then press yes. And everything should delete. It did not delete for me because I already have a fresh dorm. Once you have a fresh dorm, you should be good to download the inventions. I put it in the description and I will walk you through how to put them in. Once you have the inventions in your portfolio that you have downloaded from the description, we're going to see first free Swift printer. You'll press the I, you in store, spawn it in. Make sure to spawn it in through the store or it will not work correctly. It needs to be spawned in through the store. After you spawned in Swift Printer Free, you are going to go to SP Data Table 0.6.2. You are going to press the I. You install it. Spawn it in. It's going to save your room. Let it save. Once you spawn back in, it should spawn you up here in the seat. Just give it a few seconds. It'll put you in the seat. We're going to press space. Get up. Drop the thing. Go back in your maker pen. And you can spawn in the next invention. Next invention you spawn in will be new board Swift printer 0.6.3. You are not going to view it in store this time. You're going to click it. And you'll spawn it in right up here. Now, essentially what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to bring it board placement forward. The one that's already there. And you're going to want to wire board placement 0.6.3 fixed new board the exact same way board placement 0.6.2 is wired. So this is how you will do it. You will want to wire seat the seat over here and then unwire this. Now you will like to unwire move seat and you can wire this move seat to shirt on use and then on the ring switch we'll wire shirt to move seat. Now for check board orientation, we'll want to unwire it from board placement 0.6.2. You'll want to wire this to check on use, then check from the execution string switch, check board orientation. Now you'll want to unwire manual seat orientation vector, and you will want to wire this to vector 3. Once you have that all wired, you should be good to press delete on your maker pen and delete the old board placement. You can leave it here, but I like my things organized, so I will put it right here next to where it used to be. Now you will want to wire up the shirt printer 0.6.3. What you will do is you will wire start to start, repost to reload position, done to table import. You will wire left corner to left corner, middle to middle, right corner to right corner. Offset to offset down here. X to X to Y, B to B, and then A to A. Since that's all wired, you are good to mess with the settings now. Now for your settings, you are going to go in your maker print, press connect. For sure, it's going to be set to false right now. If it's set to false, you will be doing canvases, but you will set it to true for any hoodies, shirts, pants, shoes, or hats. Front and back, I'd put that to both true, besides if you're printing a front only shirt. If you're printing a front only shirt, you will disable back. You will leave the rest of these alone, besides manual coordinates. You'll turn this to true, and you should be good on that part. Over here, you'll turn PC to true. If you are on PC, if you're on mobile, put it to false. And you'll see orientation, keep that the true. New template, if you're using the new template, which is for hoodies, pants, shoes, or hats, you will set it to true. If you're doing a normal shirt, you'll set defaults. Since I am doing a hoodie, I will put it to true. After all those are done, you are good to go on to the next step. Now to import your data, what you should do is 
you will open up your file explorer again being Swift printer main you should have your zip file in here you should go to manual tables open it with Python enter and it should give you image data text files image data text 00, zero will be the first one here image data text 01 will be the second one 02 03 04 05 06 07 and so on so forth you will now go into your maker pen tools configure configure the data table edit data table press the box you will go back into your file press image data 00, zero open it with your notepad to see this all you will press control a to highlight it all then control c to copy it all go back in your game this will lag you so this is what i do i click inside of the data box i move my mouse over to generate and then i press control v to paste it it might take a minute to paste it might lag for you just wait it out once it's pasted you can click generate it should save your game once you have done that you'll spawn back in the chair just get up get your maker pin out then do the same exact thing for 01 press the box go in your files open with notepad control a control c back in the rec room click in data box hover over generate control v should paste in generate and if you have more than two you will just rinse and repeat that same process until you're done once you are done you are good to move on to the markers first i will show you how to do the free version the free version takes about 20 to 30 minutes to import all of your colors after i show you how to set up the free version we will show you how to set up the paid one the paid one takes about five seconds to import all your colors way more convenient but it costs about a thousand tokens for everything let's get into it for the free markers you are going to want to go in your maker pen inventions find markers 212 markers, part 1 out of 4, I, view and store, spawn it in, 212 markers, part 2 of 4, view and store, spawn it in, 212 markers, part 3 of 4, view and store, spawn it in, and 212 markers, part 4 of 4, view and store, and spawn it in. After you do all this, I would recommend saving your room. So go in your watch dorm room save room i would name it something like clean printer i would press save once you spawn back in you should be up here which is perfect you can go in your maker pen go to tools circus and debugging send room reset event drop your maker pen let it respawn you now you open back up your file manager we'll scroll down to import.py open it is this a shirt? Just press enter. Start on marker zero, press enter. And now you will open your rec room again. And it should start importing the colors for you. Like I said, this will take about 20 to 30 minutes. So once these are done importing, you're going to move on to the next step. Now I will show you how to do the instant recoloring with the paid markers. First of all, make sure you do not have the other marker inventions. We're going to go in the description and get the invention. Shirt printer maker recolor. I'm going to press I. You in store. Spawn it in. Now you will come over here. These are 250 tokens a piece. So you are going to get marker set one. Once you buy it, you are going to spawn. Marker set two. Once you buy it, spawn. Three. Spawn once you buy it. Then four. Spawn once you buy it. Now you will buy the data tables. You will spawn it in, save. Once saved, good to delete the buttons. Besides start, leave the start button. We're going to wire X to X. Y to Y. And the Z to Z. Now, I recommend doing your maker pin, pressing move. Moving the button up here near your data tables. Position it correctly. You can turn it if you like, put it wherever you want. I'm just going to make it like this. Move the orange data table up here near your gray ones. Once you have done all that, 
you should be good to put in the colors. What you will do is you will press configure. You will go to the orange data table. Click on it. Edit data table. Click the box. Control A. Make sure all this is deleted. I'm going to go in your file explorer. You should see image underscore hex dot text. Right click. Open with notepad. You're going to press control A to copy all. Control C to actually copy it. You're going to click on it. Press control V. Then you will generate. Once you have saved it and all your data tables are put in, you are good to press your start button. Once you press start, it should color all the markers correctly. Once your colors are in, you are good to start your print. I will show you how to do that now. Now that all your colors are imported, no matter what method you used, you will get your maker pen out, walk over here, go to shirt board. You'll right click it, it'll open your watch immediately, go to backpack, clothing customizer use. Delete something if you have something on here already. I did, so I deleted it. Now you will check. This should be as close to one on the left side and all zeros on the right. This is close enough, but you can always get closer. You can press plus until you can't anymore. This will make the shirt as big as it can be. And now I would, if you are doing a hoodie, switch the template. Or if you are doing pants, switch the template, hat, shoes, etc. Since I'm doing a hoodie, I'm putting it in the hoodie. Once you have that all there, you're good to get up. Go back down here. And you should be good to start your print. We're going to press this button to start it. We're going to initialize line progress. And initialize your markers. Initialize code prints. And it should start printing. Now, depending on what is on your image and how many data tables you did, this will range on how long it'll take. So I will be with you once my shirt's done. All right. Once your shirt is done, you should be good to save it. Create. Name it what you want to. I'm going to name it Tyler the Creator. Don't tap the glass. In description, I'm just going to put don't tap the, gra the glass. I would set it to everyone for everyone can see it. Set your price. I'm doing 500 tokens for it. Save. Create item. And it should publish. And with that, you are all good to print your shirts. Hoodies, pants, shoes, or hats with the Swift printer. If you have any problems with anything, feel free to comment or join the Rec Room Printing Discord and ask for help in there. I'm very active in there and I can help you out. I will respond to every comment that needs help. Thank you for watching and happy printing.